Hey guys, so last night on Twitter I had somebody ask me how do you program the ESP8266 if you only have an Arduino Uno? And more specifically, the Arduino Uno with the chip soldered on. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to program the ESP module with an Arduino without removing the Arduino chip. So, to complete this project, there are a few different parts you're going to need. Obviously, you're going to need an Arduino Uno or similar microcontroller. You're going to need an ESP8266. I have the O1 model here. You're going to need some male to female jumper wires as well as some male to male jumper wires. A 100 microfarad capacitor. Two small push buttons two 1K resistors, and a 2.2K resistor. Now, I will tell you guys that this is somewhat of a hack, and I'm not entirely sure why it works. But if you do this correctly, and you wire everything correctly, it should work, and you should be able to upload programs onto your ESP module through the Arduino. So, the first thing that I want to go over are the wires here on the ESP module. So my red and black wires are obviously my ground and my ground and V in, my 3.3 volt power wire. This green wire here, this is connected to the CHPD pin or the chip power down pin. And this pin must be pulled high in order for the ESP8266 to function properly basically at all times. So I have that pulled high right here. I have this orange wire here is the RX, the serial receive line on the ESP module. And the yellow wire is the TX, the transmit line on the ESP module. This gray wire over here is connected to GPIO2. Now GPIO2 does need to be pulled high whenever uploading programs. So I have it wired in and we will be pulling it high in a moment. And lastly, this blue wire here is connected to GPIO 0, which in order to upload, you also need to pull that pin not high but low. So we will be doing that as well. So in order to upload programs to the ESP module without having to remove the Arduino chip, we need to somehow disable it. And the easiest way to do that is to take a jumper wire and connect the reset pin to ground. And this will make sure that any information sent through the Arduino will bypass the main CPU chip, allowing us to talk directly to the ESP module. The next thing that we need to do is connect the power and ground wires from our, from our Arduino to our breadboard. Now we're not going to directly connect our power wire just yet. I'm going to start off with the ground wire. So I'm going to take the ground connection on this side of the board because it's more convenient and connect it to ground on my breadboard. Now, the 3.3 volt power line from the Arduino is not going to connect directly to the power rail of our breadboard. We're actually going to connect it to one of these two buttons here. So, what you guys need to do is connect the power wire to the 3.3 volt port on the Arduino and plug it in somewhere on your breadboard. Then you need to take a switch, one of these buttons, and plug that in, connecting to one side of this power wire. The other side of the switch should be connected to positive. At this point now, if we were to have the Arduino plugged in, when we push this button, it should activate power to the ESP module. The last thing that we need to do with power is add in this 100 microfarad capacitor. Now, I'm not entirely sure why this capacitor makes everything work, but without it, I have failed multiple times 
and with it, it works more often than not. I believe it has something to do with when the ESP module gets powered on initially, it uses a lot of power and can possibly brown out on the Arduino side. So this just makes sure that everything stays powered and nice and smooth. So we're going to place that. The long lead I have already bent to make it more equal with the shorter lead. The long lead is going to plug into the positive power rail and the shorter to the negative power rail. Now I'm going to make sure that I use one of my 1K resistors and pull this GPIO 2 pin high. Just like that. Next, we're going to attach the GPIO 0 pin via a button to ground. So I've put my button in on one side it is connected to the GPIO 0 pin and on the other side of the button I am going to connect it to ground. Okay, now the last thing in this tutorial is to connect our data wires. Now I said that the yellow wire is the TX from the ESP module and the orange is the RX. So you might be thinking that you should connect the TX to the RX pin on the Arduino and the RX to the TX on the Arduino. Now this is not the case. You actually need to connect TX to TX and RX to RX. And this is because the programmer chip on the Arduino generally communicates with the Arduino via its TX and RX lines. But the Arduino is the Arduino TX and RX lines are the ones actually labeled here. So TX from the programmer is RX on here and RX from the programmer is TX on the Arduino. And the labels are for the Arduino chip, not for the programmer. So when we connect the yellow wire to the labeled TX pin, we're actually connecting the yellow TX pin on the ESP module to the RX pin on the programmer. This is, the, this is one of the critical steps in this tutorial is understanding that you need to actually connect TX to what is labeled TX but in reality is RX on the programmer. And lastly we need to connect the labeled RX but TX on the Arduino to the RX to the receive line on the ESP module. Now this is where our last two resistors come in because the Arduino is sending 5 volt signals but the ESP module can only accept 3.3 volt signals so we're going to use a voltage divider to drop this 5 volt signal to a 3 volt signal by the time it gets to the ESP module. And what, the way that we're going to do that is we'll take our orange wire here and not connect it directly to the same place on the Arduino or on the breadboard where the RX line is. We'll connect it slightly separately and we'll take our 1K resistor here and place that between connecting the two the two wires now. So the orange wire is now going from the Arduino through the resistor and into the other orange wire. And this last resistor is going to connect from the same point on this the ESP module orange wire and we are going to connect it to ground. And this is a voltage divider and it will allow us to drop our 5 volt signal to a 3.3 volt signal for the ESP module. Now that we've completed wiring, let's see what it actually takes to upload a program. Now, to upload a program to the ESP module, there are actually a couple of steps that we have to take, and we have to do them very quickly and precisely. Now, 
The reason that we wired this button instead of directly wiring the 3.3 volt signal to the breadboard power rail is because we actually need to be able to activate and activate power very quickly and precisely timed. So to upload a program, you're going to make sure on your computer that you have set the Arduino IDE to the ESP8266 board, whichever board you're using. Mine is the 01 module, so I have the generic board selected. And you want to make sure that your serial port that you have selected is the Arduino serial port. Now, when you go to upload your program, I've found it easiest to hold these two buttons separately and hold down the GPIO zero button. This is effectively what will put our ESP module into programming mode and just hold that down. And the moment that you see on the Arduino IDE that it has gone from compiling to uploading, you push down the power button and very quickly release the GPIO button. Now, you want to make sure that you are holding down the GPIO button when you apply power so that it goes into programming mode, but that the moment that it has power, the moment that you have depressed the, the power button, that you let up on the GPIO button. This is very important to do, and it does take a little bit of practice to get the timing sequence down, but it does work. And with any luck, your program should start uploading. Now, it does mean that you have to hold down this power button the entire time that your program is uploading in order for it to work, but I have found that if you just have your module powered directly off of the, the power line, that for some reason, no matter how quick and how precise I am with the GPIO button, it doesn't seem to work, so I think there must be some black magic happening by applying power quickly, and I, I don't know why this works the way it does. If you guys have an idea, please let me know in the comments, because I'd love to know. I stumbled upon this solution by accident and kept trying to reproduce it until I figured out exactly how to, but I don't know why it's happening. So... I'm going to attempt to upload the Blink program from the Arduino IDE with the LED pin being on pin 1, which is the built-in onboard LED there, and we're going to try to get a program uploaded. So I have my Arduino program open and I'm ready to upload. I'm going to hold down the GPIO 0 button, pulling it to ground and I'm going to wait to push down the power button until the moment that I see the Arduino IDE says uploading has gone from compiling to uploading. So I'm going to press the upload button now and wait until it says uploading to apply power. Oh, that time it didn't work. Let's try once more. Hey, and with any luck, you will have your little blue light blinking away and your TX and RX pins blinking away, and your program will upload. Now remember, you do have to hold down power the whole time it's uploading, but it does work. Alright, now that it's done uploading, it has begun my Blink program. So, this is how you program the ESP8266 via an Arduino Uno without removing the chip. I hope you found this helpful. I know a lot of you guys out there have maybe Arduino starter kits and have wanted to get into the ESP8266 but don't have a programmer for it. I hope this helps you guys get up and running. Please let me know if you guys have any suggestions for future videos or things that I may have done wrong in this video. And, and please let me know if you know why this quick power cycle works. I'm very interested to find out. Alright, well, until next time, guys, I'll see you later.